Eight Democrat candidates for president are actually boycotting this very conference. Anyone who aspires to the highest office in the land should not be afraid to stand with the strongest supporters of Israel in America. It is wrong to boycott Israel, and it is wrong to boycott APAC. There you got the vice president addressing APAC, calling out Democratic hopefuls for skipping out on the annual pro-Israel conference. This is President Trump reverses 52, the 52-year-old policy to recognize Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights. Our next guest also addressed the importance of standing by Israel at APEC. House GOP Conference Chair Liz Cheney joins us right now. Uh, Congresswoman, good morning. good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good to be with you guys. The Democrats, uh, they got a problem uh, because they seem to, some seem to be standing with APEC and the Israelis and some do not. Yeah, it's it is really uh, scary. It's dangerous. Um, you know, when we're at the point where the Democrats will not even put a resolution on the floor of the House of Representatives condemning the anti-Semitic remarks, specifically condemning by name Representative Omar, uh, they continue to let her sit on the House Foreign Affairs Committee. You know, we have seen in the past. We know anti-Semitism begins with words and it ends with things that are far worse than that. And we all have an obligation to stand up against it, to call it evil. And and the Democrats today aren't doing that. They're cowering. Uh, they're enabling the anti-Semitism in their party. Uh, and frankly, it's, it's dangerous for the nation, and, and they ought to stop it. How is that going to affect them at the polls in 2020? With the, major the majority of Jewish people in America seem to vote democratically. So how is that going to affect them? Well, this shouldn't even be a partisan issue, Ainsley. I mean, when, when you look at the obligation that all elected officials have in this nation, the obligation that we all have to do all of our part uh, to ensure that we never again uh, see what's happened in the past, particularly now when you've got a rise in anti-Semitism mm -hmm. globally, uh, this is absolutely, you know, a situation where the radical left of the Democratic Party has seized control and the Democratic leaders in the House of Representatives are enabling it by standing silently by. Well, uh, Cindy Hoyer spoke out against her comments, and uh, how'd that end? Well, you know, uh, I think that he's he's making an effort, but it's one thing to uh, to give a speech at APAC. It's another thing he's now being attacked by the left. I think he's even made somewhat of an effort now to to sort of say, well, wait a minute, I wasn't condemning her specifically. Uh, it, it's not a profile in courage, and it shouldn't be this complicated. It shouldn't be this hard. Put a resolution on the floor, condemn her words, and take her off the House Foreign Affairs Committee. They have the power to act. They have the power to show the world that we won't stand for anti-Semitism, and they're refusing to do it because they are catering to the far left of their party, to this radical anti-Israel faction. All right. Thank you so much for being with us. Good to see you this morning. Good to be with you. Thanks, you guys.